Welcome back to the pre-learning module for Ship Safety Course, Part 8. This is the final part. Part 8 of this module covers the outlines of legal systems for ship safety in Japan and on-site training and field tours. This slide provides an overview regarding the outlines of legal systems for ship safety in Japan. The slide briefly describes how international conventions are promulgated into national laws and regulations and how these are implemented in Japan. In the classroom lectures in Yokohama, the lecturers from the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism, MLIT, explain this point in detail. Many casualties involve non-convention ships around the world. The surveys and inspections of non-convention ships are usually conducted by their respective administration's officials. In contrast, convention ships are generally surveyed and inspected by one of the internationally recognised ship classification societies. These facts lead us to believe that it is important for the participants to know about the Japanese system for ship safety. This slide shows the fundamental structure of Japan's government. The Constitution of Japan, 1947, ensures the separation of powers, establishing three bodies, the National Diet, Legislative Body, the Supreme Court, Judicial Power, and the Cabinet, Executive Power, headed by the Prime Minister. 7.2 Basic Legal System for Ship Safety in Japan This section begins by reviewing the latest basic plan for traffic safety. The safety plans for all modes of traffic issued every five years by the Cabinet Office in accordance with the Traffic Safety Basic Measures Law. Next, it covers the laws and ministerial orders that relate to the maritime conventions we have been discussing. For example, the Ship Safety Law and the Prevention of Maritime Pollution and Maritime Disaster Law, and details the criteria for the issue, endorsement and revocation of statutory certificates. These criteria are amended through a legislative process. The recognised organisation, RO, is appointed under the law. Specific details of the scope of such an appointment are linked to relevant legislation and orders. Some of the responsibilities for a flag state administration are delegated to ROs. The appointment process is implemented in accordance with the requirements of the laws and ministerial orders promulgated under the RO Code, a mandatory IMO resolution under SOLAS, MARPOL and ICLL, among others. This section also covers instructions to the class, which details and clarifies the specific requirements associated with the role of ROs. Administration conducts annual audits of RO officers and occasional on-site visits to ships to monitor how delegated duties are carried out. This is done because the administration is fully responsible for the performance of ROs in connection with their delegated duties. There are also class rules, which differ by class, but are devised in consultation with the flag state. This slide shows the organisational chart of the cabinet and some of the ministries. The bodies highlighted in yellow are those that are relevant to transport. These are, from the top, the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism, MLIT, the Coast Guard and the Transport Safety Board. This slide shows the organisational chart of the MLIT, which has 14 bureaus. The responsibilities of the Ministry are distributed by the relevant national law. The MLIT bureaus related to maritime transport are circled in red. These are the Policy Bureau, the Maritime Bureau and the Ports and Harbours Bureau. These are the primary maritime agencies in the central government. In addition, there are some other organisations that have specific maritime special duties. These are the Meteorological Agency, the Transport Safety Board and the Coast Guard. There are also regional officers. There are 10 district transport bureaus and, under those, there are local branch officers that carry out on-site surveys, certifications, seafarer licensing and port state control, PSC. This slide describes the functions of the various organisations related to maritime safety. In the centre is the Maritime Bureau, which administers the registering, surveying and certification of ships, develops, improves and coordinates the shipping and shipbuilding industries, and conducts many other maritime activities and policy decision-making. Other organisations, clockwise from the top right, the Meteorological Agency is in charge of weather observations and warnings, as necessary. 
the Fishery Agency, is in charge of ensuring the safety of fishing vessels and enforcing laws against illegal fishing. The Japan Coast Guard is in charge of conducting search and rescue operations, the construction and maintenance of navigation aids, publishing nautical charts and enforcing marine traffic laws. The Ports and Harbours Bureau is in charge of constructing and maintaining ports and navigation routes. The Japan Transport Safety Board is in charge of accident investigations. The Marine Accident Tribunal is in charge of disciplinary actions for seafarers. This slide shows how international conventions are promulgated into the domestic legal system. In Japan, national laws are written, voted upon and amended as necessary by the members of the Diet, the representatives of Japanese citizens. The Diet is the only body that can pass national laws that protect and regulate citizens' rights and responsibilities, as necessary for the public good. After the passage of laws, the regulations' details are legislated or issued as cabinet orders or ministerial orders, along with notices or circulars that facilitate the smooth implementation of such laws and regulations. This slide shows the relationship between the IMO's international conventions and Japan's domestic national laws. Such laws include the Ship Safety Law and the Seafarers Law, Safety and Labour Matters, and the Law Relating to the Prevention of Maritime Pollution and Maritime Disaster, Safety and Environmental Matters. With the passage of these laws, they are implemented through Cabinet Orders and Ministerial Ordinances from the MLIT, and other notices as indicated in the previous slide. This slide shows the various regulations issued in connection with the Ship Safety Law. Basic rules pertaining to ship safety are provided under this law. Meanwhile, technical standards in this area are detailed by a series of ministerial orders and other supportive notices. The regulations for the enforcement of the Ship Safety Law provides the survey and certification system for ships in Japan. The slide shows navigation areas provided by the Ship Safety Law. There are individual criteria for the areas. Smooth water area includes lakes, rivers, inland sea and bay areas. They are sheltered waters with relatively calm weather. Coasting area is the area within 20 nautical miles from the nearest coast. Greater coasting area is the square area bounded by 63 degrees north and 11 degrees south latitude and 94 degrees east and 175 degrees east longitude. Other areas belong to ocean-going area. The technical standards shall apply to each ship in accordance with its navigation area, gross tonnage, length and number of persons on board and other parameters. At the initial survey, it is verified that the ship complies with the applicable requirements, following which a ship inspection certificate is issued. The applicable requirements are provided in the domestic laws and regulations, taking into account the ship's service area. These requirements are promulgated by international conventions, such as SOLAS, MARPOL and so on. The technical standards are somehow adjusted considering the circumstances that the ship encounters. However, in any case, it is designed to ensure that the ships maintain minimum safety requirements for navigation within the designated area. This slide shows the simplified flow of a ship's initial survey to ensure compliance. Upon receipt of an application for an initial survey, the ship surveyor of the administration, or the ROs, initiate the process for the survey, starting with a check of the ship's plans and drawings, on-site surveys on various occasions, and a sea trial. When the surveyors have verified that the ship complies with all the applicable requirements, they can issue a certificate. This slide shows a typical survey schedule for Japanese ships engaged in only domestic voyages. The upper schedule is for cargo ships and the lower one is for passenger ships. Certificates are valid for five years, except in the case of cargo ships whose navigation area is limited to smooth water areas. Their certificates can be valid for six years. Section 8 On-Site Training and Field Tours During this course, several on-site training and field tours are planned, as follows. Yokohama Port Visit there will be a boat cruise in the port of Yokohama, carried out with the cooperation of the Yokohama City Municipal Government. The staff of the responsible bureau will discuss the facilities and the history of the port. Marine International Company Limited visit. 
This is a certified service station approved by the Japanese government and other ship classification societies as a maintenance service provider of ship components and life saving appliances, including inflatable life rafts, rescue boats, marine evacuation systems, and various Global Maritime Distress and Safety System GMDSS, items. The relevant technical staff will explain how they work. The National Maritime Research Institute NMRI visit. The NMRI is Japan's primary research centre for marine research and technologies. It possesses world-class experimental facilities and has over 170 researchers. This slide shows photos of the facilities, which include one of the world's largest towing tanks, various model basins, a navigation simulator and so on. During the tour, the researchers will discuss the facilities and their research work. Kamomi Propeller Company Limited Visit This is one of Japan's leading propeller manufacturers, located in Yokohama. The photo shows a controllable pitch propeller, one of the company's main products. The company is proud of its world-class manufacturing technologies and market share. Tokyo Maritime Traffic Information Service Visit This vessel traffic service controls maritime traffic in Tokyo Bay. Coast Guard officers will discuss the activities they engage in. The photo shows the Uraga radar station, located at the entrance of Tokyo Bay, and the Traffic Control Center. Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology, JAMSTEC, visit. The JAMSTEC develops new scientific and technological capabilities that contribute to sustainable development and the responsible maintenance of a peaceful and fulfilling global society. Their research covers a broad spectrum of marine science and technology, including ocean observation research, Arctic climate and environment research, earth surface system research, national disaster prevention, mitigation measures, and so on. During the tour, staff will discuss the activities the agency engages in, as well as their facilities. During the course, there will be technical visits to two shipbuilding yards. Yamanaka Shipbuilding and Yano Shipbuilding, which are pictured on the slide. Both shipyards are located in Imabari City in the western part of Japan, and both build domestic general cargo ships and container ships, including oil and chemical tankers. During the visit, we will observe their shipbuilding and quality control processes as part of on-site training. HNS Kikai Kogyo Company Limited visit. This is one of Japan's leading manufacturers of pump products, including those used to treat ballast water and sediments, such as the oil water separator used in Japan. The company is located in Hyogo Prefecture in western Japan. The photo shows some of the company's products and the course participants examining the inside of an oil water separator. Shigi Shipbuilding Company Limited visit. Shigi is one of the world's leading manufacturers of lifeboats and rescue boats. The photo shows some of their products, including a free-fall lifeboat and a rescue boat. The technical staff of the company will discuss their products and the related technical standards, then conduct a tour of the facilities. Sasakura Engineering Company Limited visit. Sasakura is a leading manufacturer of desalination and sewage treatment plants. The photo shows a unit of a sewage treatment plant and a freshwater generator. Yanmar Engineering Company Limited visit. Yanmar is a leading manufacturer of famous commercial diesel engines. The photos show trainees at Yanmar's technical training school overhauling and assembling a marine diesel engine by themselves, and the Yanmar Museum exhibiting the world's first diesel engine invented by Dr. Rudolf Diesel and donated by Mann, a related engine manufacturer in Germany. 8.2 Onboard Training OBT During the course, we will participate in onboard training with the inspectors of the Kanto District Transport Bureau, KDTB. PSC OBT, two days. The participants will observe actual PSC inspections being conducted on ships at the ports of Yokohama, Tokyo and Chiba. After the inspections, there will be a review and discussion session to exchange opinions and a question and answer Q&A session with PSC officers. OBT on a training ship. This will take place on a training ship owned by the Japan Agency of Maritime Education and Training for Seafarers, JMETS, with presentations led by KDTB ship inspectors and lecturers from the Shipbuilding Research Centre of Japan, SRC. During the training, participants will view demonstrations of performance tests and learn about the procedures for inspecting domestic ships. 
Congratulations on your completion of the pre-learning module for ship safety course. This concludes the whole module. Thank you for your patience. We look forward to working with you in Japan.